Hello, my little adventure friends. I'm coming to you from uh, a hotel room in the city of Baltimore, Maryland. I can't be with you, but I still have your story for today. And uh, in our Bible, in Daniel 1, we see that the next part of the story after Nebuchadnezzar uh, attacked and besieged uh, the city of Jerusalem, and uh, after he took the cups from last week, we now see that he also wanted to take some young people with him, some some uh, prince, some princess with him, and said, "We, you got to bring them back to Babylon with me to be my servants. That's what the Daniel 1 says. And the Bible says that they took them, and of course, they probably tied them up, you know, like this, and they had to walk all the way back a long way uh, to another town away from their home. And today... What I want to show you is that this, this notion of being tied up, right, and being a servant to somebody else um, is not always what it seems. And we know later that the story of Daniel turns out to be very good for uh, those captives and for, and for the people of Israel in the long term. And I want you to think about this. Sometimes the devil or this world or other people, they want to tie you up. You see this, this tie right here? They want to tie you up and they say, oh, you know, I'm going to tie you up so you can't do anything and you'll have to be a servant of something, right? They say, oh, we're going to tie you once, we're going to tie you twice, we're even going to tie you three times, right? And you're not going to be able to get away. You're going to be a servant. Look, you can't get away like I tied this chair, you see. But when God is involved, he says, no. The knots that the devil makes or other people make on you in life, they don't mean anything when God's involved. Because when God's involved, those knots disappear. I'll do this trick for you when I come home. But just remember that if anything or anyone tries to tie you, uh, to this world or to things that are not good, just ask God. He'll fix that knot for you. Have a good one. We'll see you next week.